One of his biggest thrills came on June 10, 1959, when he became only the eighth player in Major League history to hit, get this, four home runs in a single game. First time up, I walked off of Jerry Walker, and then I went in the field, and Albie Pearson, who was playing for Baltimore then, I think he was their right fielder also, and he had a line shot down the right field line, and I was playing him to pull, and I come over, him and I caught the ball one-handed uh, going towards the line, and as I caught the ball, a fan in the lower, when, well, it was right above that wall, threw a whole cup of beer right in my face. I was livid. So I went up the next time up and I hit a home run. I was really angry, upset. A lot of people think it triggered it, you know, but I think it was something that was going to happen anyway. I hit a home run off of Jerry Walker the first time up. Next two times up, I, uh, I hit two in a row off of Arnold Porter Carrero. And then the last time I came up, it was the ninth inning, and uh, I think it was the ninth inning, I'm pretty sure. Eighth or ninth, I think it was the ninth. And Herb Skoll, who's a very close personal friend of mine and my roommate, says to me, okay, Rumi, he said, you go up there and you hit number four. I said, don't fool around. Just go up and hit four. And I said to him, are you kidding? I said, I was three for 28 coming in this game. I said, four hits is a month for me. I said, you know, so I'd be glad to get a four for four night. If I get a single, I'll be happy. And that's a God's honest true story. And he said to me, he said, BS. He said to me, go ahead and do it. So I said to him, I didn't say anything to him. I just went up to the plate. And the first pitch from Ernie Johnson, who had not given up a home run at that point, he was their top reliever at the time. Mm -hmm. And Ernie pushed me back with a high inside fastball. And the next pitch, he got it out just a little bit further. And I hit it up in the seats. And that one I hit as hard as any of them. And I knew it was gone the second I hit it. I ran around the bases until I got home. And then once I hit home, and I jumped up. And, and all my teammates were out there. And uh, it, was just, it, was, it was just a great moment for me. I was broadcasting in Baltimore when Rocky hit those home runs, and he started out down the line. The first one was down the line, and each succeeding home run went farther out towards center field. Remember the time when Frank Lane traded him, the leading home run hitter for Harvey Keene, the leading batting average league uh, in the league hitter? I remember it well. It was spring training, and uh, that was my first year with the Tigers, and it was announced the final day of spring training, 1960. <laughs> hey, it's gone. Palavito packs one out of here, long gone in the left field seats, and that will put the American League into the lead two to one. Well, you know, they've got a short porch in left, but that's a home run in any ballpark in the world. They love it in Washington, a two run homer by Palavito. Now let's take a look at that cut. Still got power, still got water.